Welcome back to the channel and for our next installment on the EV Charger series we are looking at the, we're back with a wall box and it is the Copper SB. And for those who want to know what the SB stands for, it stands for Socket Business in Copper SB. So this one is different to the Pulsar Plus, which we already have up on the channel, and I'll put the link up on the screen and in the description if you want to have a look at that review. But this one is what we call an untethered, or there isn't a cable attached to it. Colour options like we have in the studio is the glass black, but also on the screen you can see there's a matte black option if you didn't want something as flashy. And then the third colour option is a grey, and you can see it on the screen here. So three different colour options, the glass black, the matte black, and also this lovely grey version, something different can come in type 1 or type 2, so depending on your market, so North America might have a type 1 socket, Europe, rest of the world might have type 2, here in Ireland we're type 2, so um, the, your installer will know that, and thanks to the partner today, ePower, who is going to help me with regards to some footage on what this looks like when it's actually installed on a wall or on a post. Uh, so the options then in power output, it can be single phase 7.4 kilowatt, which would be the norm for domestic setting in the UK and Ireland, or it could be up to 22 kilowatt, which would be more of the norm on the European continent where they have three phase. You will get this in hotels and office buildings, etc. around the UK and Ireland, and that could output 22 kilowatt. But again, remember, it's limited to what your car can take, because as much as we call this a charger, technically it is EVSE, or an AN EVSE, EV supply equipment. The charger is actually in your car. Really, this is just a safety device to make sure that it's all legit. Size-wise, it is 260 millimeters tall, 192 millimeters wide, and 113 millimeters deep. So it's a nice compact unit. And you can, it, because it sits proud on the wall, there is a, an, a, an ability to wrap cables around it potentially, or have a separate hook uh, if you are going to leave your Type 2 cable in or around the actual unit itself. Um, connectivity, it is able to be connected wired to the Ethernet. Um, it can be connected via Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is also ability, so you can start talking to it via the app, and we're going to talk about the app later on. The charger can also be connected via a 4G dongle. What I like about the Copper SB is the ability for it to work off a RFID card. And you do get one in the box if you want the ability of starting it, stopping it. But it, this can also be used uh, in connection with somebody, an employee's name badge or their security pass. So you can set it up off on the back of that. Uh, you can monitor it via the app or also via the um, dashboard, which we're going to also talk about. So the actual unit itself, nice compact, uh, the ability to go up to 22 kilowatt, and more of a commercial setting technically. Rating wise, it has an IP54 rating and an IK10 impact rating. Surge category, it's category three, and it's got a residual current detection of DC six milliamps, and it has an external RCCB, which is the circuit breaker we talked about the last time is, is required. There is an LED built into the front of the unit and you can see here on the footage, the different colors depending on the different status of it. So depending on the color will dictate what's happening on the actual charger. So there's seven different colors. Green is ready. If there's a slow green pulse, it's software updating and it can be over there updated. Turquoise in standby mode. Blinking turquoise is there's a scheduled charge uh, programmed in and you can do that via the app or via the dashboard. White means it's not been plugged in. If it's a blinking white, it hasn't been plugged in correctly. Dark blue is the business, it means it's charging. Yellow, it's locked. Red means there is an error. And then orange blinking means that there's an MID meter configuration issue as well. So uh, depending on the color will dictate as to what it is. So it's nice to be able to see it and look at it from across and, and know by that color of that um, LED as to what's happening with the Wallbox Copper SB. The Copper SB is also OCPP, Open Charge Point Protocol 1.6, which means that if you've got a back office system, the likes of a Monta, etc., you can utilize these chargers and it'll start talking to that back office system so you can bill via the system, etc., etc. So it's nice that it's able to work with other uh, charge point back office systems. Again, another positive for the Wallbox, Wallbox Copper SB. With the Copper SB, you also have the three year warranty, same as the Pulsar Plus. I really like that about the Wallbox products because there are some EV chargers out there that only have a one year or maybe even a two year, but the Wallbox stuff all comes with a three year warranty. Again, if you're putting this into your business, if you're using it for staff charging or if you're using it for guests or customer charging, you want something that can take a bit of abuse uh, and stand up to it. And that's what this 
unit is prim primarily made for it is that more commercial setting even though it can be used in a residential setting you can see here one of my neighbors has it on a pillar it can be wall mounted or it can be pillar mounted he has it on a pillar mount uh, which it looks really good uh, and it definitely caught my eye it's a nice sleek unit the fact that it is just a socket means that if anything you ever change your car in the future if you're going from a type 1 nissan leaf or a kia ev soul um or Soul EV, that would have been traditionally a Type 1, um, you're not tied into having the correct output on a tether with the socket unit then, you can change the cable that connects from this to your car, and so you're kind of future-proofing it. Even though only about 20% of domestic installs are actually uh, untethered, in a more commercial setting, this makes a lot more sense because that person will have their own charging cable with them, whether it's a car or a van that they're charging up. So it's, uh, and then it's their cable that's lying around the ground. It's not your cable, you're just providing the socket. So uh, an untethered in a commercial setting is probably a lot more recommended in my opinion. You can also control the My Wall Box and monitor, not just control. You can schedule, you can lock and that, um, the ability to lock the charger and have them. That's new on across the wall box chargers um, and it'll lock the cable in as well. The ability to do that is done via the app, but also via the My Wallbox portal. Uh, and you can check, you can schedule, you can see output, you can run reports on a weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. So the ability to manage and control the actual charger uh, via your phone or via a laptop or desktop or tablet is always great to be able to see those different types of functionalities, but also run the reports and see exactly what's going on. Uh, and with the RFID access, you can see who's charging and when they're charging. Um, so it's a nice feature to have it as well. Some of the other features that it has, that it has the ability to uh, power, dynamic power sharing, so improve your charger intelligence with the dynamic load management solution to avoid blackouts uh, and surprise energy bills. It will measure your building's live energy and automatically adjust the charge to all connected EVs in harmony with your local grid's capacity. Some of the other features I get asked about a lot is the compatibility with solar. In a commercial setting, you may have solar panels on your roof. And if you utilize the power meter, which is really a, an N1 CT power meter clamp, if you utilize this, in conjunction with your wall box copper SB, you can start to harness the green energy from your, either it's a micro wind or solar compatibility. Your solar panels can divert the actual solar energy to this. So that's an optional extra that you can utilize with it. So that power meter, the wall box copper SB also has built in earth and pinfall detection and DC leakage protection. Utilizing the Wallbox single phase clamp power meter, combining a power meter with your smart charger unlocks the new My Wallbox functionality such as EcoSmart and Power Boost. So that is my look at the Wallbox Copper SB. Thanks to the team at ePower. And if you're interested in getting Wallbox Copper SBs at your home or even at your business, uh, they can be set up in a chain. Uh, and so you can have multiple ones and it can load balance and power share across those. Uh, reach out to ePower.ie and the team there will look after you, whether it's for a commercial or a residential inquiry. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that look around the charger. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've got this on your home or your business, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Uh, in the last video, we got lots of interaction, so please do leave a comment, like the video, and share if you know of somebody that's thinking about getting some chargers at their home or business. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, even an EV charger, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.